to do everything we possibly can to prepare our guys to get them ready for the next level. I don't think I would be in this position today without the support I got from SC. And I know I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for the work I did with Chuck Berry. Chuck was a walk-on somehow here. I don't know how he got it done, but he was a walk-on back there in 73. Since his playing days ended, Chuck Berry has been instrumental preparing me and other USC players for the NFL. When Coach Carroll first told me that I was going to be working with Chuck, I really didn't know what to think. I've heard so many stories about uh, his experimental techniques. We used to run from campus all the way to the Hollywood sign in flip-flops. He was a big believer in massage therapy. Only it was you giving him the massage. In all his wacky ways, he's helped a lot of guys get into the NFL. And uh, that's what I'm here to do. I got with Chuck about once a week. And sometimes he kind of comes even though I don't even call him. Let's just go through the shuttle. OK. <laughs> no, no, come on. What is that? I, I didn't even you look go like yet. a jerk. Are you trying not to get drafted? Because that's exactly how you not get drafted. Can you just tell me what I'm doing wrong? So crab legs, I... crab legs. And snap, pinchers, mm -hmm. OK? I just have all nothing but faith in, in what he's doing. I'm really trying to understand his ways. God, you're making me mad. Chuck's training methods, unorthodox. Do you want to be the last pick in the draft? I'm just saying, that's the way Answer Coach, the question. That's the way Coach Carlisle's been a teaching. Coach, why do you keep bringing up Coach Carlisle? He means nothing to you. Right. I think uh, they, they're borderline illegal. You ready? Oh, come on, Chuck, man. Your breath freaking reeks, dude. <laughs> I had a lot of garlic today. Let's go. Can you, can you just spot me from behind here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One. Two, three, four, I got, five, I got six, it, seven, Come on, man. eight, nine, <laughs> twelve. Okay. Put it back. That was bullshit. You might as well not even work out today if you're going to work out like that. He's innovative. It's just we just nobody can see how the thing's supposed to work. Pull, 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 pull. Stop. Quick stop. Push back this way. Push, push. Stop. Pull. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Seriously, stop. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh. I always get sick during that drill. Always. For the most part, we try to keep Chuck and Coach Carl away from each other, but sometimes when they meet, it, it can get pretty ugly. You know that? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Your program owes all right, me. All right, Chuck. All right, man. Come on. Let's go. Chuck's methods are, I guess, old school. Your job is the center. You're the, uh, you're the captain of the offensive line, correct? Yeah. You got to protect the quarterback. So you got to think of something in your mind that you care about more than anything that you really want to protect. For me, it's a Twinkie, OK? Delicious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Twinkie back there, and you're going to protect the Twinkie. 42, black. 42, blue. Nine, hut. Hut, swim technique. Swim technique. You protect the I want that Twinkie so bad. I want that Twinkie. <laughs> I'll go low. I'll go low on you. <clears throat> Guess what? You just lost your job. Oh, sacked. And delicious. Somehow these guys have hit it off and they've mixed and, and they, they play off of one another and Ryan has really benefited from Chuck's help. I want to really focus on your 40 time, okay? okay. You want to get loose. You want to get all over the place, okay? Because when you leave the blocks, you want the scouts to see you, okay? So you got to be running like your like your like your pants are on fire, but it's, right? It, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, straight line. You're right. But sometimes you zigzag to mix it up to set yourself apart. Hunch over. Well, they're gonna start the clock once my hand uh, leaves the ground. No, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. I'll get you a special exemption. Okay. All right. Okay. The one thing I can say about Chuck is he definitely is a very passionate individual. You can't handle it at all. all you right. know why? Because you're soft in the head. Fine. You want to race then? Yes, I want to race. OK, fine. I've been waiting all day for this. OK, that's fine. Chuck really cares. Falcon. <laughs> Gosh, man. Ow. What are you doing, man? God. What the hell are you doing? You fought, you've made me pull a hamstring. Well, what are you doing? Sometimes, though, he, he can get a little emotional. You're a nice guy, man, but I, I, can't, I, I can't train with you anymore. Are you serious right now? <laughs> oh my god. I overreacted, man. All right, I okay, I'll let you train me. Just you can't be doing that stuff, all right? I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll always appreciate how his techniques helped improve my lateral mobility and my strength. But the dude owes me like three grand. It's weird how he's always asking for tips. When are you gonna pay me? 
For the training session? Uh, you know, I have my agent. I have my, I have my agent, Tom, call you, okay? This whole draft process has been really intense. And, uh, I mean, as weird as it sounds, I really don't know where I would be without the help of my trainer, Chuck Berry. Can I just get like $40? Yeah, that's fine. Get the full fee? Uh, that's fine. I'll, you can walk out to my car, I'll give you 40 bucks. All right, great.